Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about the rest operator. Now we will see the spread operator in the ES6. So uh, we will be using most of the time the spread operator rather than the rest operator. Why? Because the rest operator I have shown you the alternative for that rest operator also. So if, if you want to use, your, if you have dynamic arguments, you will be using the rest operator. But most of the time in the ES6 or uh, latest JavaScript code when you are writing in the framework setting, you will be using most of the time the spread operator. So let us use this spread operator, let us see this spread operator how we can use. For example, I have one array numbers of 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to get the max value of this number. Previously how we have did, so console.log math dot max of we have sent the numbers like this okay so in this one it will try to send you the will try to send you the values okay so it say it has given you the greater value if you have right if you have written like this and if you see it will give you the written value now what i will try to do i will try to send these numbers okay so now if I try to send the numbers, I am getting it as land. Why? Because numbers uh, variable is an array. So in math.max accept only the list of numbers, not the array of numbers. So in order to send the list of numbers, what do we have to do? So we cannot, uh, so previously we used to write some concat join, uh, com, uh, join with uh, comma and uh, like this we need to write the logic and all those things. So in ES6 we can write directly using the spread operator like this. So you can use three dots here and if you see the output now again I am getting the max value. Here remember this, this one we are using these three dots in the function call not in the function declaration. The function declaration it will convert that one into the array. In the function call the array it will be split into the list of numbers. Okay so there will be a, there will be difference between call, between the function declaration and calling in the function. Okay, if I see console.log, what is happening here if I see the numbers, if I try to see the numbers here, if I click on this one, you will be able to see it, it, it is being spread. So, you want to spread the numbers, spread the numbers, if you want to get the list of numbers from an array, so you can use this three dots of spread operator. So, like this way also we can use and in objects also it will be very useful. How it is useful is for example I have one object as name as Leela okay age as what we can say 30 or something okay now I have another object with obj1 is equal to name as John and age as 20 or 20 or something like that. okay now I want I need to get a situation that I need to merge these two objects so that same names if same properties if they are available so it should be overread with this John or age 20 so whichever is a, for example if you want to override this one you will keep this object one as first and object as uh, second so that John will be replaced with Leela or otherwise you want to replace the names with this second object so you can replace this one in the second place so that second last one will be taken as a priority. So I want to I want to merge these two objects so that equal uh, the same names can be same properties can be overrided and uh, other properties which are available for example here I have available as gender as male okay and here I have available here for me available so hobbies or something like this as something cricket or uh, something like this okay now this different param different properties should be merged so how can I do this one so we can do console.log using the spread operator dot 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 obj okay first one i will i will uh, convert the i will split i will spread these all the things so so that i will be so that it, if it is present in the object it will be splitted and also i will i will also spread this obj1 okay so that both these objects are splitted as a list here now I will combine all those things as an object now. Okay. Now let us check the output. If I try to check the output, so you got the output as a new object 
combining all the values for example see here name name here it is present and here it is present so john has been replaced why because we have mentioned the object one at the end of this so this one is taken as a priority so left right it will take and hobbies it is not present in the second one uh, it is present in the second one but it's not present in the second first one so hobbies has get at had had printed now here gender so gender is present in the first one it is not present in the it, it, it didn't get overrided so age we got so in this way we can combine the two objects using the spread operator if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you